back again with an, an excellent campaign to be played. The Grand Dukes of the West. Next scenario. 3. The Cleason of Paris. Let's go. In England, they celebrate the Battle of Agincourt as a victory over France. In truth, it was a victory only over the Armagnacs. The Burgundians stayed out of the fight, and John eagerly watched as the English king did his work for him, decimating the Armagnac alliance. Still, the English invasion of France had swiftly turned in Henry's favor. With the road to Paris now open, he marched his armies towards the French capital. Sensing his time to strike, John the Fearless rallied his armies. He would race the English to Paris and seize it from the Armagnacs before Henry could arrive. Whoa. Hey, so that will be a very, very cool scenario because there is a very good relation with the famous battle of Agincourt. So we're basically playing to opposite force of the opposite force. Because, you know, uh, Henry was on the other, Henry V was on the other side at the Battle of Agincourt to the Joan of Arc um, army during the campaign of Joan of Arc. That's amazing. I mean, very cool in my opinion. Just thinking, <laughs> I really, uh, I have no idea how it can be the scenario, if it can be a fixed force, what else can be. I was really thinking on what I can say, but there is nothing really. What I can say about another thing, there will be a fun event, actually on April 10th, and which will be a very big announcement for the Age of Empires series, because we're finally going to have more details about the Age of Empires 4th. Uh, the fourth Age of Empires tape um, installment to be released. So the next Age of Empires, several years ago after the vanilla Age of Empires 3, which was released in 2005, we finally got the new Age of Empires 4. That'll be a big thing. And it'll be on April 10th, and there'll be a big, big stream on YouTube, I believe that there will be also on Twitch, and you know there will be many many places where you can look about it. I you know drop a link in the description, and then you can have a good time watching about this event and programming yourself to attend to this because I believe that it'll be a big thing, and hopefully I'm gonna be there in order to see the new new uh, about the uh, news that's gonna be released. But also there will be. According to the news that were posted on the official Age of Empires website, there will be some new stuff that gonna make both Age of Empires 2 and Age of Empires 3 fans very happy. So, yeah, hopefully we gonna be able to also look about that and have some good surprise for Age of Empires 2 and Age of Empires 3. So let's go. Uh, the main objectives, kill Bernard Darmanac to conquer Paris. Okay, so it will be a mission where we're gonna need to assassinate on um, uh, enemy hero apparently. And secondary objectives are that three guild leaders that are willing to cooperate with the Burgundians can be found in the city. Meet with them and attempt to earn their support. Okay, uh, John the Furious must rely on the strength of his army. He can either build his own economy nor train additional troops. However, influential Parisian citizens that are dissatisfied with the rule of Armanax may be persuaded to join the Burgundians. Thermonite's control of Paris gates. Drive away or eliminate soldiers wearing each gate to open them. The struggle for Paris is already in full swing. You will find the students that you can integrate into our army. Do not let up, men. We have to seize the gates. 
Dive is not safe. Dive is complete. 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 Dive is we must conquer Paris before the English arrive and take what is rightfully mine. Is that bring the injured to us before we can heal them? See, he this gate house is no longer controlled by the Armagnacs. Uh, so that's a healing site for your units. There will be many units, many guy units that are gonna get They're gonna get in this level. See, Dive <laughs> Okay. See, we 
So there should be some units, units here. Okay, I believe that there are some units hiding there. Okay, shook troops, they should go there and look for it. We fight by your side, Burgundians. we fight by your side, Burgundians. Okay, so We are having a very, very, very complex time here. And I think that all the... This gate house is no longer controlled by the Armagnacs. Okay, 
Okay, let's enter. Okay, so now they should be... Now that I actually know where I should step here, I believe that I will have less problems. No! Okay. Oh, The merchants will repair one of the destroyed bridges to help us cross to the other side of the Seine. Barbaric Almanac soldiers took advantage of the general confusion. Si. They si stole si the most precious artifacts from the university here in Paris. Ozot. We should return these great Abutavis. pieces of French heritage. Si. Abutavis. Ozot. Ozot. 
Sí, y ve, sí, y ve. Sí, y compró, y ve, y compró, y compró. Pozot. Sí, y ve, y ve, pozot. Y compró. Abu Tavis. Sí, me estruzó. Sí, me estruzó. The English army will arrive in 20 minutes. Sí. Abu Tavis. Y ve, sí, me estruzó. Y ve, y compró. Sí, me estruzó. Y ve, sí, me estruzó. Y ve, y me estruzó. Y ve, y me estruzó. Sí, Alright, so we're back again. Where are the relics, by the way? Just trying to figure out where are. I mean, I lost the relic. But how is that possible? Because I had that relic. Okay. See the cowardly Armagnacs have imprisoned some men of the Butcher's Guild. We should free them. Pozot. This gatehouse is no longer controlled by the Armagnacs. So I'm happy about that, but I cannot see anymore my my relic. But I need to look the video. Is it with me here? Oh no, it's not. Oh, thank you. Free them? Okay. I even forgot about you guys, sorry. We are free! Come, brothers! Let us join the Burgundians and liberate Paris from the Armagnacs! Cut them all down! They're really butchers. I mean, very, very Oh, that's some militia. Very, that's a very strong version of the militia. 
What else we got here? We have many things in Caldra side, maybe. Oh yeah, we got. We probably got what we won't have much time. What is the relic? Did it vanish or did it went to the grave? Probably went to the grave. Scouts report that the English are close to Paris. We must hurry. Oh, here he is. So, probably gonna need to make this guy's enemy. Hey, wait, I can change it. Crap! What's this guy says? Eight minutes. Oh, I didn't have time to talk about the event, but I'm gonna talk later because there are many, many good guesses I have about it. If I win, of course. If I win. Our duke has been wounded. Return him to safety. This gate house is no longer in the How did the Burgundian jugs manage to get so close to the palace? Okay, so it seems she used the micro here and they probably should stay locked with that. Oh no. Oh, you're gonna have time. Just in time. Great. Finish it. Slain. Avenge me, my brothers. Avenge me. Woo! That was very intense. They lost my hero. What is this? Have the Burgundian daredevils beaten us to Paris? Damn you, John the Fearless. Oh, yeah. Sorry, buddy.
Paris was now in Burgundian hands. Whoa. But in seizing the city, John had made an enemy of the English king. Yeah. Not wanting to fight both the Armagnacs and the English at the same time, he moved to make peace with his French rivals. The heir to the French throne, the Dauphin, agreed to meet with him on a bridge near Montauroux. John and the Dauphin each arrived with ten of their trusted men, and John knelt before the Dauphin as a show of respect. But as he rose, two men of the Dauphin's retinue, who were Armagnac loyalists, sprung into action and charged John with axes raised. It was a trap. Before the meeting could even begin, John the Fearless was struck down and killed, while the Dauphin only watched unperturbed. It was a fitting end for the man whose career had started with just such an assassination. The Burgundians were outraged. There would be no peace between the French factions and Henry V would go on to win many more battles against his fractured enemies. But while this marks the end of the story of John the Fearless, the tale of Burgundy is not yet over. That was brutal, and that was the end of John the Fearless. Oh yeah, very intensive battle against the French that we had in this level. That was hard. And I believe that we made a good level here. I'm gonna need to edit this, but... I guess it was a good content to produce. Now let's return to the map. And what else we could have? Uh, there were some units here. And this part of the scenario is impossible for me to reach. Yeah, here it also seems to be impossible. Units, units. Mandato, ready. More Mandato, units. Yay. More relics, by the way. Oh, there would be some... Oh, I could actually meet this guy over here. That was the guy that was missing. Then I would get something extra out of it. That's a very cool pikeman. Pozoto. Whew. That was very, very intensive. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about what we can expect for the event April 10th, dedicated for fans about the new uh, Age of Empires 4. I really hope that we're gonna get a new campaign for Age of Empires 2 and I really think that having a campaign for the Lithuanians would be a good fitting. So yeah, I really expect that to happen. Uh, new civilization, not really sure if you can get it. I believe that we'll not have it, but one thing that I really really think that we're gonna have is announcement of new tournaments. So probably a new tournament and sponsored by Microsoft. I really think that we will have it because they are um, investing so much on new tournaments and stuff like that. So I really think that it will be a time where they will attempt to do that. So that are my hopes about what we can expect. And about Age of Earth 3, this, um, because they said Age of Earth 2 and 3, you guys should expect probably a new civilization for Age of Paris 3. That's what I think. I really think that they probably were thinking about this possibility, but I cannot say what kind of civilization, because um, opposed to Age of Paris 2, Age of Paris 3, it has a lot, a lot of nations that can, they can put in this game. 
So I really think that we are gonna get a new civilization, something really new for Age of Empires 3. But overall, I really expect tournaments, Age of Empires 2 especially, but 3 as well, we can expect a campaign. So I think it will be single player content since it's so, so successful, the single player content in Age of Empires. And with Age of Birth 3, I really think that they have high chances of getting a new civilization. And that will be very impressive. What do you think? Um, I might do a speculation about what kind of new civilization we will have for Age of Empires 3 on the next video. So that was it. And I see you guys. And hopefully you'll be here with me for the next scenario. Which is... Oh yeah. The Town Hall Marriage. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.